Ken LaRue from Autodesk, and this video is a quick walkthrough of how to create new materials with overrides using the new Bake to Texture workflow in 3ds Max 2021. We start with a model that doesn't have UVs and it doesn't have a material. No material can be picked from the object and no UV channel is present on the object. Create a non-overlapping UV layout using Flatten. Our goal is to create a map like a surface maps texture wrap but with better quality and results. Create the maps that will be used for the shader. Bitmap, preferably seamless tiles. Use color corrector node to invert, add contrast, and reduce the brightness to generate a metalness map. Use color corrector again to add contrast and increase brightness to generate a roughness map. Use blended box map out of the bitmap and into the color correctors to create an even projection of the map from all directions. One projection cubic fixed size rather than using a UV channel. Switch to scanline render since no lighting solution is needed and all the maps can render faster in scanline. Open bake to texture. Add the maps to the selection. Three times override map to capture all three maps from the material editor. Adjust the map settings to your liking. In this case, I'll use the size of 4096 and PNG files. Rename the map files if desired to match the significance, such as color, metal, and roughness. Create a new material as the output and pick a simplified PBR material. Set the map's destinations to the inputs of the material. For each override map, drag the map's output from the material browser to the map override picker in the map options of each map to create instances of the maps as overrides. Click the Bake button. In high quality mode, you can see the results in the viewport. You can see the new material in the material editor. It is using the maps that were baked in the UV space of the object so that the visual result looks like a blended box map projection. Repurpose the maps for later use in libraries. Rename the maps so they are easily identified later in the library. In the Material Browser, create a new material library. Add the maps to the library by dragging their outputs in the material library in the browser. Open the new scene or use a new object. Make sure the object has the destination UV space with non-overlapping UVs. Open the Bake to Texture and add three map overrides to the object. Adjust the map settings to your liking. Create a new material and define the map's destinations. Rename the maps. For each map override, use the map options. Use Pick Map button to choose the map from the material library. Choose a destination folder. Click the Bake button. View the results in the viewport in high quality. So this was a quick walkthrough of how to create new materials with overrides using the new Bake to Texture workflow in 3ds Max 2021.